just being able to go somewhere and be surrounded by books, that was, that was great growing up. I think it's important to have a place where everybody can have access to, to knowledge. Libraries, they very much give back to Virginia all of the love that she had and the use she made of um, libraries over, over the years. It's very typical for an author to donate their work to a particular library. What's interesting about Lois Lenski is she dispersed her works all over the country. It must be just a reflection of how she just felt everyone everywhere in the U.S. was important. I'm on the foundation board of the Library of Virginia, and here we have this the State Library in a beautiful facility in downtown Richmond. And what I really want is Richmond to be a place that my children can come back to, and a wonderful community within the library. I was taught to read at a very early age and had a, a library card you know, before I was two years old. I played in a room that had a wall of books, and I remember standing there and thinking, I want to do that. I want to be one. I just went through that library like nobody's business. And I had a different book every day. You know, that, that was the moment where like, oh, maybe I'll try to write something. You know, I grew up just thinking of the library as the most magical place. I think libraries are a precious institution. They are incredibly valuable. There's no question that when an economy takes a turn for the worse, libraries become more important than ever. And yet this comes at a time when, you know, funding is being cut and libraries are being forced to um, cut their hours back and reduce their staffs and close branches and and uh, I think it's a kind of a bitter irony that just as they're most needed is when they're most under threat. 